Hello friends, once again I welcome you to my channel. In our last video we have seen shift instructions. Then today we will see some numericals, means some examples based on those instructions. Let's say first take the arithmetic right shift instruction. One example is given, this register content is given, we need to perform this instruction. That means R1 content will be shifted to the right by arithmetic right shift instruction. Meaning is what? The sign bit will be preserved and all the bits will be shifted to the right, right? So your answer will come like this. So this one is coming here, sorry. This one is coming here and this one is also coming here. This one is coming here, this zero, this zero, this one, this zero, this zero and this one is going out. This is how the operation is performed. So this is the result of the operation. If suppose we need to tell what is the value of your result and what was there in the register, right, in the beginning. So in this question, the R1 contains minus 55. This content is representing minus 55 before we have applied the operation. And after the operation is applied, it will contain minus 28. And what do we know? We are performing a right shift operation. So the number will be divided, right, by what? How many positions you have shifted? 2 to the power, the number of positions you have shifted. So in our case, it is 2 to the power 1. So 55 minus 55 by 2 to the power 1 will be minus 28 because answer will come in uh, integer only because it is an integer division, right? So see here, <clears throat> I hope you can make out this how it is 55. This is a negative quantity, so minus sign. Then we'll take the two complement of it. So it is 1, 1, 1, 0, then 1, 1, and this two will be zeros. So this part is giving me what? 7. By this now, you know this is 1, 2, 4, 7. Then uh, 4 is gone, then 8, then 16 and 32. So 16 plus 32, right, is what? 8 plus 4, 48. 48 plus 7 is 55. So initially R1 contains 55. And the result, we'll interpret the value of the result. Again, we need to take the 2's complement. Result is negative. So it is 0, 0, 1. Then we'll flip the bits, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. What I'm doing, I hope you know, because in previous videos, I have explained how to take the truth complement of a number. So that only I'm applying. So see here only at these three places, ones are there. What these places are representing, this is 4 plus 8 plus what? 16. So 16 plus 4 is 20 plus 8, 28. So minus 28. Hope you have understood the how to get the values in decimal. This part is done. Next, one more example we will do. Say register content is given like this and we are performing arithmetic shift, right? By one bit position for register R1 only. Only different content we have taken. So what I will do? We know that this bit position will be retained. Means this will come here as well as it will come here. Like this only the way I explained before, we are doing it and this is going out. So this is my answer. So if you apply the same method, then you will get before this operation is performed, R1 must containing minus 7. And after the operation is applied, it will contain minus 4. You can see it quickly. See, it is if you take the 2's complement of it, this part will be 1, 0, 0. All other bits will become 0. So this part is representing what? 4, right? So we'll get minus 4 because of this sign. Done. And see this part. This part, see, when you take 2's complement, this is 1. This would, 2 will be 1, all others will be 0. So this is representing what? 7. It is a negative quantity. So it is minus 7. Hope this part is clear. Then next is another example we have taken. R1 content. Same thing I am doing. This time we have seen for a positive number. So before the operation is applied, it was containing what? 4 ones. Means what? Plus 15. After the operation is applied, it will be plus 7. Do remember, it is a integer division. So answer is 7, right? Then next, we'll see another numerical. One content of register is given. What will be the decimal value? This time they are asking specifically that we need to provide the decimal value after the execution of A shift R. A shift R indicates what? Arithmetic shift right operation. By how many bit positions? Two bit positions. For whom? R1. And it is given that numbers are represented in two's complement format, right? So R1 content we have written in a register. We'll assume the content of carry is zero, though it, it does not matter for our numerical. So R1 is this content. 
first we will shift it to one bit by one bit position then see first you will do one bit position together you don't do for two bits so if i have shifted this one will come here this one and so on the way i did before then again i will apply then ultimately i am going to get this result right so what uh, the result is clear right this one will come here this one this one like this already we have done it so many times so by now it is clear right so before the operation is applied this r1 was containing minus 43 and after the operation is performed for by two times then it is containing minus 11 actually it will be 10 point something but it uh, minus 10 point something so we'll take the lower value so between 10 and 11 the lower integer is minus 11 so answer is minus 11 right hope you can make out how, why it is my, how it is minus 43 it is a negative quantity you can see you to get the value you take the two's complement so it will be one zero one our life is always all around your two's complement only right i did the mistake see this is one then this is one this will be zero this is one zero one zero zero so what it is representing one plus two one plus two is three then four then eight to see 32 so 32 plus it is 43 32 plus it is 40 plus 3 minus 43 correct and this is representing what 11 minus 11 so it is a negative quantity i'll take the two's complement of it so it is 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 0 i need not have to see them this part only this is what 1 plus 2 is 3 and this is 8 8 plus 3 is 11 minus 11 you can apply your own method you take the two's complement take the binary and use your calculator you can get it as your 11 minus sign because of msb was one hope this numerical is clear another one we have seen that the register r1 content is given like this we are performing they are asking us the value right so initially r1 is having this one then after performing the operation it will become this one so see in the beginning it was minus 118 you can find out the way i did before and this result is what minus 59 right exactly it is divisible by 2 so we are getting it minus 59 another one execute this a shift r actually i have taken all a shift r instructions we should have taken some more different instructions also but this one is also there so r0 content is 8 bits its content is like this so when we applied this we are getting this right so initially it was containing minus 53 one time i am shifting means it is divisible by 2 so actually it will be minus 26.5 so it will be minus 27 because the answer is in your integer it is an integer division right next one more we'll see see very simple question is given but you need to understand the question properly the content of register r1 is this one right this many bits are given write the instruction for performing the following operation what they are asking is clear the lsb of r1 to 0 so lsb when we write ls means least significant capital b stands for byte small b stands for bit so what they are asking us to do we need to make zero what this lsb means all the eight bits in the lower order least significant size all the eight bits we need to make it to what zero and it is a total 16 bit quantity so see what is this 16 bit quantity one zero one one zero zero one one zero zero one one zero zero one one again i have to write because it's a big value one zero then one one zero zero one one zero zero one one zero zero one one how many bits i need to make it to zero this two four then this this many bits these eight bits need to remain as it is so which operation we need to apply they are asking us that write the instruction we need to write the instruction so what will be the mnemonic of our instruction mnemonic means the operation so which operation we need to perform so that we can clear all of them as zero and they will remain as it is already we have seen while discussing logical instructions that whenever a bit position has to be set to sorry reset to zero 
that time we go for end operation so we will end it with zero zero right these positions will end with zero zero and all other bit positions will end with one one right then what will happen is all these will become zero zero and they will remain as whatever they were in the beginning right so what will be my instruction operation is end with what i have done the end operation with this binary bit pattern i can write it in your hexadecimal also so this part will represent two f's as f f 0 0 8 comma what is the register r1 then this part will become all zero and this part will remain as it is hope this one is clear here the problem was very simple only you need to pay attention that it is byte not bit right another is set the msb this time we are talking about this part set the msb to your what msb to your one so that means all of them i need as one 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 so what operation i'll apply i'll apply or operation with what i will or with all one one right and here i will or them with zero zero right or them with zero zero so then if i'll do that then see what will happen is this all will become what one one msb msb means most significant byte right so most significant byte one second so most significant byte all will be one one and all other bits remain need, uh, need not have to be changed so if you apply or operation with all one one this part will all become one one and this part if you or with zero then they will follow whatever is there in the input right so as a whole my instruction will be first one is and operation with this second one is and sorry or operation with the same operand because the logic is different right so these are the some examples we have seen using your shift instruction as well as your uh, this one logical instructions and in the next video, we will come up with your rotate, rotate instructions and some numerical on that also. Thank you till then. And if you are getting from my videos, please like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.